Hello, my name is Mark Michelon, and I am Western Digital's product manager for our RapidFlex family of fabric bridge devices. We define a fabric bridge device to be a mechanism for bridging local PCIe I.O. over a fabric to disaggregated storage. Our RapidFlex A2000 and C2000 products bridge PCIe to NVMe over fabric storage connected by an Ethernet fabric. Let's introduce the architecture that makes this possible. This is a very typical x86 server architecture deployed in data centers all over the world. One or more CPUs are connected to DRAM and a PCIe root complex that provides connectivity to peripheral devices, including local SSD storage. We're showing eight SSDs here, but the number deployed is a function of the server you're using and can vary from none to 24 or even more SSDs in a single server. As you add more potential SSD capacity, the cost and complexity of the server increases due to provisioning more SSD slots, including a switch to enable a high number of PCIe lanes for storage. Now let's disaggregate those SSDs by moving them to a JBoF chassis. The advantages of disaggregation include dataset sharing, simplification and cost reduction of the servers you purchase, and being able to upgrade servers and storage independent of each other. You can see we have separated the PCIe connections in the server from the PCIe connections the SSDs are using. The red line in between the two chassis represents the fabric, and the FBD is the fabric bridge device. The fabric bridge device in each chassis is responsible for converting the local PCIe traffic to Ethernet traffic and vice versa. Now let's look at a specific implementation where the fabric bridge devices are Western Digital's RapidFlex C2000 and the JBOF is a Western Digital OpenFlex Data24. In the OpenFlex Data24, the C2000 is a target mode fabric bridge device. It provides the PCIe root complex for the attached NVMe SSDs and translates Ethernet traffic to and from the server to PCIe for the SSDs. In the server, the C2000 is an initiator mode fabric bridge device. It is discovered by the server's root complex at boot time it translates NVMe to Ethernet for the attached OpenFlex Data24. Now let's discuss the virtualization in RapidFlex vDrive. The shaded area represents the virtualization aspect of RapidFlex vDrive. All of the Ethernet connectivity, whether it is Rocky or TCP, is virtualized by the RapidFlex C2000 initiator in the server. SSDs discovered in the OpenFlex Data24 are presented to the PCIe root complex in the server as though they are local to the server's PCIe bus. This allows the disaggregated SSDs to operate without installing an NVMe over Fabric's driver in the server operating system. Because no NVMe over Fabric driver is required, operating systems that do not support NVMe over Fabrics can still be used with disaggregated SSD storage. RapidFlex vDrive can be implemented with Western Digital's OpenFlex Data24 or any other NVMe over Fabric compliant JBoF that uses Ethernet as the fabric.